This week on Makers Lab TV, you can learn how to work with intricate engraving designs. The TrueCut laser from AM.CZA is truly remarkable and can do really intricate engraving. Stick around and I'll show you how I made these designs. When it comes to designing something for engraving, you have to keep in mind that it has to be a black and white image because the black is the only part that's being engraved on the laser. You cannot add more colors without making it more difficult for yourself. You can if you want to, but I would prefer to say that you shouldn't. Stick to a black and white photo. It just makes it so much easier for vectorizing and making a good engraving, as well as turning out a good contrast in depth of the engraving. So today I'm going to go for quite an intricate design. Um, it was a colorful logo, but I turned into a black and white. It's got lots of little shapes, lots of little patterns that are quite close to each other. And you can quite clearly see that when, once it's engraved, it comes out really nice. And it's quite an, an eye illusion, eye candy. It is very intricate. Really like the engraving on this. It's quite nice. Um, and you can go for anything else really, it's up to you. But for today, I went with this, just to show off what this laser can really do. Settings I'm going to use today on this 3mm wood is basically going to be 60% uh, power at 18% speed for cutting. And the engraving I'm going to go all the way up to 45% power, just so I can get a nice deep engraving. And I found the best accuracy without burning the wood too much the speed at 330. Obviously going for a smaller power supply and smaller tube you can even get more accuracy and more intricate designs engraved on anything that you're engraving or cutting. laser is a beam of light. When a laser is shot out of a laser tube in one direction, it has an initial beam spot diameter. And as the distance increases, so too does the diameter of the spot, which is measured by the beam's divergence angle. So, we need to use lenses to concentrate the laser power that will reach the material. And different lenses have different focal lengths and depth of field for cutting. In plain English, a lens helps the laser to remain in focus so as to gain higher power on the focus point and thereby cut the material. The shorter the focal length, the shorter the depth of field and therefore the effect of cutting thickness will be less. On the other hand, if a lens's focal length is long, the focus point will be far away, less energy will be concentrated but the effect of cutting depth will be long and so the cutting thickness will be greater. Lenses have two parameters, diameter and focal length. And depending on the variations of your working project, you will need a range of choices in both the diameter and focal length. Once you have the diameter and the focal length, you can contact our sales on 060 600 6000 for purchase or bring in your lenses to us, even if they are cracked, to get those parameters for you. So when it comes to the design, we want to make sure that we're turning the full color images to black and white just to make sure that they are engraved correctly because if you have too many colors, you're going to have too much effort to put into this to changing each color in the program. 
to suit the different styles of engraving. Whereas if you're black and white for the whole image, it just makes it much easier for engraving rather than having to select each and individual color and engrave at different depths. And you can obviously apply any of these designs to whatever you like. Glasses, coasters, accessory boxes, or whatever you want to produce that requires a great finish. In 2020, we celebrate eight years in business, heading toward infinity and beyond. am.co.za. Achievement matters.